Do you want to learn about the most advanced hydration system on the market? How about a backpack that's self-pressurized? Well today, we've got Mike representing Geigerig to tell you about these hydration backpacks. Thanks, Clint. Okay, uh, everybody has probably been familiar with Camelback, um, Gregory, there's a bunch of companies that uh, kind of came into that market right after Camelback kind of started the hydration backpack market. Um, what Geiger Rig has done is taken it one step further. And what they've done is they've come out with a system that is pressurized. And I'm, I'm, the pack I'm wearing right now, I've already pumped it up, but you can see, you don't do this here, and this is pressurized. And it will pretty much empty about half the bladder before it needs another pump up. And it takes about 20 pumps on a larger bladder to make, the, make it pressurized and make it come out nice and strong. Um, I'm going to get this off and kind of show you what the bladder looks like on the inside. And this happens to be the largest of the packs. There's multiple sizes and I'll kind of go over those in a little bit, but uh, the 1600 is the largest of the packs. So it holds the larger water engine, which is 100 ounces, and it also um, can carry quite a bit of stuff. You can, it has tethers on the outside where you can tether down ex excess gear, um, a large compartment on the inside. And in the back, as you can see, this is where the hydration engine is. Um, to get it out, you just simply deflate it. Once it's deflated, this little puppy here holds it up inside the, flat, the pack. It's all quick release, so this is your air, air piece. Pull it out. Down here at the bottom is the water, because the bladder is two part. Uh, so that's your engine. That is 100 ounces. And the back part here is the uh, air chamber. Front part is the water chamber. Um, real easy to get in and out of. Can turn it completely inside out for washing. Um, Antimicrobial, so you won't get any of the nastiness that builds up in them. Uh, just clean it once in a while, make sure you keep it dry. Now, there's, like I said, offered in two different uh, sizes. So 100 ounce and 70 ounce. The smaller packs use the 70 ounce bladder. The larger packs uh, use the 100 ounce. Um, like I said, largest pack here, the 710 is the mid-size pack. This one is going to be good for a single day trip, uh, mountain biking, great, great for that. I use it for the mountain biking. And it uh, will hold you know, a jacket, multiple power bars, and, uh, and, and, and anything you really need for like a, a single day trip. The Guardian is one of the newer ones, and what's cool about this is it's, be, it's really more of a race day only pack. Uh, it really only holds water, but the idea behind the Guardian is it has a large plastic piece here and a large plastic piece here with compression straps. So this gives you the highest PSI that we can get out of one of these bags. And so for somebody that's racing in a, in a really high endurance race where they're huffing and puffing a lot, being able to just spray the water in your mouth instead of having to suck on it is, is it sounds little, but it's huge because you don't have to take and put your mouth on that thing and not be able to take a breath. You can hold it open while you're breathing and then also, if it's a hot day, put it over your head, up on your neck. Um, it's really nice to be able to actually have the water spray out instead of just kind of, like I said, you have to suck it out. Uh, contamination issues are non-existent because water never goes back up in there. Sometimes your saliva can contaminate the uh, inside of the mouthpiece on a, water, on a water bladder. With this, because it's constant pressure pushing out, you don't have that. Um, also, if you're in a situation where your friend wants some water from you or you want to get, need to get some water to your trail dog, you can blow it right out of this thing and they don't have to touch it with their mouths. Uh, the other advantage to having a, a water sprayer is if you fall, wreck your knee, wreck your elbow, um, you can use this thing to dress the wound and get all the water, you know, spray it out with the, with the pressurized bladder, so that really makes it a nice feature. A um, couple other items, and this is one of the biggest ones, that because this is a pressurized system, what this does is this actually goes in line right here between your, um, you would, you'd plug this in here, and then you plug in your other piece to here, and then what that is, is that's a full-on uh, charcoal filter. So what you can do with that is if, let's say you're out on a multi-day trip, or you're out of water, you're in the mountains, up in Mammoth or Sierra somewhere, and there's all kinds of streams running by, well, you really can't drink out of those streams without some type of water filter. 
What this does, again, because it's a waterproof, or I'm sorry, pressurized, uh, you can use a water filter on it. So you could take that thing, dip it right into an ice cold stream, pressure, put it back in, pressurize it, and bam, you're ready to go. You can drink water right out of the stream with this thing. So that's a really, really cool feature. It's exclusive to Geiger Rig. Um, pretty excited about that because that's that opens up the door for a lot of different things to do with the pack where other packs you can't do that a um, couple other things if you are in a really cold climate they have the uh, housing and insulated uh, tube if anybody snow uh, snowboards or snowmobiles where it's really really cold you've known that if you try to use an exposed tube like this that it'll actually freeze up so this hap this will uh, keep that from happening and then another little cool feature about this, this takes the whole mouthpiece in, and what you can do here is you take one of those shake-up hand warmers and you stick that inside of there, close that up, and then your tube comes down and it will never ever freeze up, even in below zero temperatures. Uh, where this was designed in Utah, that's something that they need a lot. So this is a, a really useful tool if you are in, in, in zero degree weather or really, really cold weather. Um, Packs range in price from about 119 for the entry level up to about 175 for the larger models. And uh, there are more packs available. You can see the complete line on jcmotors.com. And uh, thank you for your time. Thanks, Mike. As always, we welcome your questions. You can call us at 800-706-9476 or go to jcmotors.com, get live support, and you'll find out why JC Motors is where writers get deals.